Hi, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another in-home repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. Okay, well what we have here is a French door Whirlpool refrigerator. Uh, the customer's complaint is the ice forming at the back of the wall here, right underneath where the ice maker air chute is at. And basically what we're gonna have to do to rectify this issue is there's a fascia heater kit that's gonna be installed. Uh, so there's a heater that's gonna be replaced up here. This whole panel is gonna be replaced. And there's some thicker gaskets that are gonna be replaced in the back there to rectify this issue. Basically what's happening is it's not making a proper seal back here where the freezer air is coming in and it's causing that ice and frost to form because the cold air is meeting the warmer air in the refrigerator section. The tools you'll need to complete this repair are an inspection mirror, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, quarter inch nut driver, an awl, and a pair of snips. At this point, the first thing that you would wanna do would just be to disconnect power. We are gonna leave the power on just so that the lighting is a little bit better in here so you can see what we're doing. But we're just gonna go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver. And there's a couple of tabs along the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and pull this cover off. And this one has a heater installed on it, but we're gonna be getting a new cover in the kit. So we're just gonna go ahead and disconnect that harness and discard this piece. And now we're gonna go over, press on the water filter here. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the filter. Now we've got two quarter inch screws that are up underneath. Some drill bits aren't gonna actually fit in there. I'm just gonna use a quarter inch nut driver here. That won't do it either. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this cover here. Uh, you're gonna need a putty knife. And basically just sort of start in the corner, work your way over. So release the tabs and you got a couple are kind of deeper in so you just kind of stick your hand back in there and push down and it pops off pretty pretty hard so you got your harness here for all your LED lighting just gonna go ahead and disconnect that harness okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the jumper harness you've got two different 12 pin connectors uh, you want to make sure you put it on the one that's towards the back with the thicker diameter wires. So you're going to go ahead, disconnect the harness here. And now you've got your jumper harness. You're going to go ahead and connect one end there. The other end over on the other side here. like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and disconnect all the electrical connections to the ice box assembly. So you got your 12 pin right up front here and you got another two pin or three pin connector there and another one here. So you can look you got a total of three harnesses that are all disconnected here. Now that we've got all of our harness disconnected, we're just gonna go ahead and disconnect the ice maker fill tube assembly. 
out of the valve. It's a quick disconnect, so you're going to have to kind of push in on the line and push in on the edge of the yellow compression fitting and then pull out to disconnect it. And notice it does run over the top of this other line here. That's just going to kind of hold it up out of the way. Let's go ahead and pull that through. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the two quarter inch screws for the ice maker assembly. going to go ahead and just pull it forward and the whole assembly is going to come out here. You see all the ice buildup around here. That should not be there. So we're going to try to rectify that issue here. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the rear adapter. There's four tabs that hold it in place use like a flathead screwdriver. This is just a tack puller here. And once you get that off, you're gonna go ahead and discard this piece. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and remove both of your gaskets here. want to make sure you get rid of any residual ice that's built up on here and you're gonna to want to wipe the surface dry with a paper towel before reapplying new gaskets so now we've got two new gaskets here we're just gonna go ahead and set those in place now we're gonna go ahead and remove the fill tube heater, Just peel it off, and you pull this tape back here, get access to the harness, Okay, now if your ice maker has the revised fascia heater kit on it, then you're going to have to pry the grommet out here. And go ahead and discard this whole piece. Now again, if your ice maker did not have the revised fascia heater kit, then these steps will be omitted. But this one had the revised fascia heater. So we're going to go ahead and pull this wiring here out of the channel. We're going to remove the five quarter inch screws holding the cover in place. I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver. Now we're going to go ahead and remove our cover. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and remove your fill tube. Just going to use a flathead screwdriver. You're going to kind of depress. There's two little rubber tabs on there. Push that in through the cover there. Now we're going to go ahead and push our harness through. We're going to remove the cover and we're going to discard this. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and take our ice maker harness, fish it through our new cover here. Ice maker fill tube. We're going to fish that through. And just make sure that your elbow is facing down so it does fill into the ice maker and it doesn't miss the ice maker when it's filling okay now at this point if your ice box does not have the updated fascia heater kit with the through hole you're gonna have to replace this top cover but this one is updated so we do have the through hole so we don't need to replace the top cover so we're just going to go ahead and install our fill tube heater. Peel your backing off. You got this tab here that's going to go up towards the front. Yeah. Now we're just going to go ahead and take our wiring, fish it through your channel here, let it run out the side. Basically this is our old fascia heater here and this is going to be the new one and our harness is just a lot, a lot longer on this. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to be fishing this harness up through your opening here. Run it all through the channel. Until it exits the ice box. Now that we've got the harness routed out the outside here, we're gonna just take a zip tie run it around a bundle of wires here that's just gonna secure the harness and kind of keep it from moving around too much okay, so what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna take our perma gum kind of wrap it around your wires there Just gonna pack the hole there. You don't want any air escaping because that's freezer temperature air. It's gonna be getting into the refrigerator section, which is gonna cause ice and frost build up. Just make sure you got that packed really good and you have a tight seal on there. The final step, just make sure your tape is rolled back over to prevent the harness from popping up. Just clip the excess off your zip tie. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and just snap our new adapter on. Make sure neither of your gaskets fell off there. And once you clip it in, you just want to go through, make sure all four of your tabs are completely locked in place. Your new gaskets are a little bit thicker, so it is really hard to get this to lock into place. Okay, now we got our fascia heater just kind of hanging here. And you got four tabs. You're gonna basically set it up in place. And then slide your assembly back and now that you've got the assembly set in place you're gonna look at your screw holes make sure you can see the screw holes so you know it's where the unit is gonna set and then you're gonna want to take an inspection mirror and inspect for any gapping on the back wall and if you do have any gapping then there's a secondary gasket that you're going to need to put in there which is this gasket here so now at this point we do have the gap there so we're going to go ahead and pull the assembly back down and we're gonna install a secondary gasket. So now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and install the secondary gasket right over the top of the other gasket. Again, you're gonna to wanna to just make sure that your surface is dry. Try to get the seals to line up as good as you can there. And when you do get this secondary gasket here, if it comes in the box and the gasket is creased or folded, you don't want to install it because you will have issues. So if you do get this, always inspect this gasket here. Sometimes during packaging, this gasket gets folded and you get a big crease in it and it's gonna cause issues. Okay, now we've got our secondary gasket installed here. Go ahead and set it in place. You're gonna have to let your fascia plate hang. Now with the new gasket on, the unit may fit really tight and it might be hard to get your screws in. So what you're gonna wanna use is take an awl and go on the front side here. Kinda get it in and that'll hold the unit in place. And you can go ahead and get your other screw started here. Go ahead and totally tighten that and then at that point that should hold it in place so you can get your other screw in okay we got our water line ran over the top there 
gonna go ahead and press that into your valve. Make sure that that's securely pressed in there. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and reconnect our harnesses. Get your thermostat there. Gonna connect that to the other two pin. At this point, just gonna be kind of matching, matching harnesses up. Okay, just go through, make sure all your harnesses are connected. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our fascia heater cover here. Got two tabs at the top, get it started. And three along the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and just reinstall our cover. You're gonna hook up your harness for your LEDs. Putting it in, you just got to kind of move all your wiring into position. Got three, like three hangers on the back, three slots that you have to get it into, and then on the front just gonna be pushing it up and snapping everything into place because you did change some wiring they give you a new schematic for the ice maker system and I want to just put that underneath your hinge cover in case anybody does have to service this, they will have the updated wiring information. We're going to go ahead and put our two quarter inch screws up where the filter housing's at. Go ahead and reinstall our water filter. That's going to complete the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.